Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you didn't catch my previous video where I showcased the Android Liquid Smooth ROM on my Galaxy S3, you can do so by clicking the link down in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this ROM on your device. So first of all, what you want to do is connect your phone onto your computer via micro USB and put the file in description from link 1 onto your SD card. Once you have that done, head on over to link number 2 in the description, get that file and put that in your SD card. Both of them should be in your external SD card and for this to work you must be pre-rooted as this is a prerequisite. As always, if you manage to break your phone or to void the warranty, I can help you with it and you have to deal with it yourself. So, if you're up for the challenge, proceed. Next up, you click the home, the volume button and the power button simultaneously on your device. And keep hold of it until the device reboots back into clockwork mod recovery. Again guys, you must be rooted and must have clockwork mod recovery installed for this to work. So once this is installed, first of all you need to go into wipe data factory reset and click yes. Of course I've done this already so I do not need to wipe data just yet. Then you go back, then you go to install zip and you go to install zip from SD card, SD card 1. SD card 0 is your internal memory and SD card 1 is your external memory. So you click on SD card 1, you head on over to liquid underscore I9300 OTA update, click on it and click yes. You wait for this update to get over and then you click go back. Once again you go on to SD card 1 but this time you go all the way down to GAPS LP 2014 from September. This is of course the second link that you downloaded and again you click on the center button and you click yes. Then you go back then you go back again and you click reboot system now. It may say that root access is possibly lost and if it does say that just click yes and then wait for the phone to reboot. Of course you'll be greeted with the liquid smooth animation screen and it's way different from other liquid smooth before as well as other animation screens from other ROMs so it was quite a novelty for me to encounter such a boot animation of course this is going to take a while if you're flashing it for the first time ever so if this starts up faster than what your phone would normally start up then just wait and hang in there because my first boot took about 5 to 10 minutes but once you have that done, you're basically up and running. You'll be greeted with the setting up process for Android and it's of course going to be lollipop themed. And once you're done with that, you practically have the same ROM I have on my Galaxy S3. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, leave it a like rating. If you didn't enjoy it, leave your thoughts in the comments down below and I may be able to help you. As always, subscribe to my channel to see further videos such as this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.